I'm going to get an image from the internet that I can use in my clipping mask. I'm choosing something that is uh, high enough in file size that it doesn't pixelate. So when I do my image search, I'm going to come on over here to Tools so that I get additional information. And I'm going to specify that I just want images that are large in size. It's not a guarantee they're going to be huge, but it's going to be better. So I'm going to take this. I'll uh, make it larger. And then I'm going to do Control, Click, Save Image As. And Bright Skies with Clouds, how nice. And I'm going to go onto the desktop. And I'm going to call this And while I'm at it, I'm going to try getting something that's lightning. And I want to make sure I'm not doing anything with cartoons because that would be somebody else's artwork. I'm still sifting for large. Another thing I can sift for is saying, hey, I just want photos. And I still might get some stuff that's not, but um, this will work. And... Love it. Control, click, save image as. Perfect. I'm going to hop back into Illustrator. So I have, let's get rid of this. I'm going to make a circle. And the color is not going to matter because once I use that as a frame for an image with my clipping mask, the color is going to go away. I'm going to place my image. Now, we don't want to just drag and drop. We want to do File, Place, there it is. And I have something now called Clipping. I'm going to go with the right sky. And it loads up my cursor. I'm going to click on the gray and just get that waiting in the wings. And then let's file place and get the lightning bolt as well. It's loaded up. I'll click on the gray. And you can see even though we sorted for large, we do have varying file sizes. Okay. With the clipping mask, I'm going to overlap the two things that I want to clip. For this, I'm going to hold shift and shrink it a little bit. I'm thinking I probably want this portion of it. Now I need whatever object I'm going to use as my clipping frame to be in the front, or my clipping object, you can call it too. So let's do object, arrange, bring to the front. If I want to be able to really preview and see what part of the image is immediately going to frame, I can lower my opacity at the top in my controls. Then I can slide it around. I'm going to bring that opacity back to 100. Now, I'm going to select both of the objects that will be involved in my clipping group. And you see they're separate right now. Let's go to Object, Clipping Mask, Make. It's now made a clipping group, so if I bump that open, we've got the ellipse that is framing, and we have the linked file, my lightning image, that is now being uh, masked, anything outside of that ellipse. Now, we can edit by double-clicking to isolate the lightning image. You can tell because it's giving me the edges of it, so I can play around with how I compose the lightning within the uh, ellipse. I can also hold shift and alter the size of it. And then I can double click to get out of the isolation mode. The other way to select it is click on the blue dot for just the particular layer you want. Otherwise, if you just click on the circle, you get the whole clipping group. Let's save this. So now I have a rectangle. I'm going to play around at placing this image. And since I made the rectangle more recently, 
it is in front of the clouds. I'll select the clouds and the rectangle. Object, clipping mask, make. It's in. I can now open that up because it makes it easier to understand what's happening. I'll double click on the clouds. If I want it to be much bigger to fill that whole vertical area, I can do that. I could also say, hey, let's rotate that. And it may move from the clipping group, so I may have to slide it around to make sure that we're getting some of that framed. Double click and I'm out. Let's do, yep, that, that'll work. Try framing both some Illustrator created objects, even if it's multiples, you can use one frame, and also try downloading some high quality images from the internet and framing those.